Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Saskatchewan conducted a draw and a subscriber basically asked me a question. Let me show you the question. Okay. So, hi bros. SINB draw on July 8th. Again, the express entry stream and occupation and demand stream cutoff is 80. Okay. How 80 is possible without any connection with Saskatchewan? Okay. So now, in this video, I'm going to tell you what was the SINP draw on July 8th and how is it possible for a person without a connection within the province who is outlined uh, applicant and outside of Saskatchewan can score 80 um, like without any relative or job offer 80 say okay but first of all let me take you to the EOI draw selection result of for the Saskatchewan immigrant nominee program okay so July 8th and this is the uh, EOI result like the SINP draw details score of the lowest ranked candidate to apply was 80 for both OID and express entry o OID is for the people who are ineligible for the uh, for creating an express entry profile as they can apply through the OID uh, like the stream of SINP everybody knows about it these were the knocks that were selected now the question is that previously 82 was selected on june 5th draw okay and 82 is something that is not achievable without having a connection within the province okay and uh, uh, before that 65 was uh, for the only for the uh, fewer knocks and uh, 70 is what we usually see for the SINP draws okay and 70 is what everybody knows that it is achievable if you have a master's degree 10 years of experience and a CLB 8 okay so 70 is obvious now how can you achieve 80 without having a connection for that I will have to take you to the uh, Saskatchewan SINP points grid okay so if you have master's degree you get 23 points keep keep on counting those points and uh, if your work experience is uh, more than five years you, you get 10 points okay so 23 plus 10 is 33 and then if you have 10 years of work experience then you add five more points to that which will be 38 points if you score CLB 8 in English, you will get 20 points. So that makes it 58 points in total. Okay. And after 58, if your age is uh, between uh, 22 to 34 years, then you get 12 points. That makes it 70 points. Okay. Clear. Loud and clear. Now, if you know French, if you're a Francophone and you, you can score CLB 8 in French, then you can um, achieve 10 more points and you will be getting the highest or rather the maximum points for factor one that is 80 points. So uh, technically it is possible but practically if we talk about the practicality <laughs> uh, then it is highly unlikely that a francophone who can score CLB 8 in English and CLB 8 in French simultaneously would be interesting it interested in moving to Saskatchewan as his choice of place so uh, I think we should rule out the francophones uh, they selected about 200 or 250 odd people in this draw uh, and uh, we can say that like maybe uh, there are five or ten francophones in that so so yeah uh, the subscriber that asked this question he is actually right to an extent that uh, for the previous two draws the draw conducted on june 15th and the draw conducted on july 8th uh, saskatchewan has been selecting people with with connections within the province okay so but it is not a rule that they will only select inland people or the people having connections it is not a set out rule it is only a matter of the no codes that they have been selecting okay so for example um, I would point out this no code uh, 0621 okay so 0621 was not uh, selected uh, in the in the in the draw that was uh before that was um on 70 points okay so as you can see uh, this was the draw may 6 draw it was on 70 points and 0621 was not selected but in 82 points 0621 was there okay right here and in 80 points 0621 is right here so meaning they are like uh, con including certain knocks that are high uh, in demand by the applicants like uh, 
uh, not by the province but by the applicant like many people have these knocks uh, like banking knocks um, administration knocks sales knocks so uh, because sinp has so many candidates having these knocks that the cutoff is so high okay and if they keep on continuing if they keep on uh, conducting these draws and if only if they increase the number of uh, nois that will be issued like 250 is the average but if they if they select like 700 people 600 people 500 people then ultimately the score will be down to 68 69 or 70 okay so still that with that with all that was said here let me just um, raise an important point here okay so if you have crossed the age of uh for uh, 35 okay if you are 40 years old then what you do is you start learning french and uh, you score a clb4 now we all know that clb4 is base is the basic level for any uh, language and if you are able to score clb4 that should take you about six months of preparation okay and if you score clb4 then you get two points and and having 68 points because you are above 35 if you if you add these two points which are actually practical uh, that you can learn french in six months within six months and you you would be able to achieve the clb4 okay so if you can achieve this clb4 uh, thing is your points will be from 68 to 70 and 70 we all know is a winning score Okay. So this was um, about the question that the subscriber asked and hopefully um, this video would clear many uh, like confusions that uh, people have. Now Saskatchewan is a practical PNP program like Ontario. Okay, In my opinion Ontario or Saskatchewan these are the only two genuine PNP programs that everyone should be looking out for. And uh, other PNP programs like Prince Edward Island, Alberta, Nova Scotia, British Columbia, they are all chance based. But these two programs, OINP and SINP, these are merit based and you can get yourself selected if um, your profile falls into this selection criteria. Okay, this is Alif Tikhar wishing you all the best for choosing the right PNP program for your profile. Look, लेकिन अगर कर लो तो अच्छा है मैं तो ये सजेस्ट करूंगा कि कर लो तो मैं अपना एक्सपीरियंस बता रहा हूं लेकिन मान लो तो बेहतर सारे पैसे एक्सपीरियंस के तो मेरी तरफ से आपको बेस्ट ऑफ लक